let's get your blog started. So, when you're starting your blog, you need some place on the internet to actually store your files and all your amazing content and all your pictures and videos and all that, right? So, we need to have a host. And a host is a company that hosts all your files. Um, you can't really hold it on your own computer because your own computer turns off and then you're not always connected to the internet and then your site goes down. So you do need a professional hosting company to help host your blog. And that's the essentials that you need for starting your blog. They also have super fast customer support. So if you have any questions or you're stuck on anything, they're there to help. That's also one of the reasons why I really like them. So like three o'clock in the morning when baby's keeping me up and I can write a blog post and I have a question, SiteGround is there to answer my question for me. All right, so let's go into it and actually start your blog. I'm super proud of you for doing this. Yay, it's a big celebration. There is a link right under this video that you can click to start your blog through SiteGround. It is my affiliate link and I do get a small commission when you purchase through it. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So just thank you so much for using my affiliate link. I really appreciate it. Um, it helps me cover all the diapers that we go through every day. All right, so um, click on the link below or go to startamomblog.com slash SG. All right, so I'm going to actually be signing up for hosting again and buying a domain name just so that you can see exactly what I'm doing here. Um, when you get to startamomblog.com slash slash sg for site ground you can see i'm one of their recommended um customers right so you can see there's my little picture of my two beautiful girls obviously i love site ground and i've used them for a very very long time i am on the go geek plan currently but when i started i was on the grow big plan the reason why i did this was because the grow big plan allows me to have unlimited websites hosted. So currently I have about 18 or 20 domain names and I'm always testing new things. I have a couple smaller blogs that I run to test out new strategies. Um, I even started with the Grow Big Plan because I knew that in a couple months um, my husband might want to, want to start his blog or I might have a different idea and then that allows me to still use just one hosting package and um, have different blogs. So say for example, if you change your mind and if you want to start a different blog after this, perfectly okay, perfectly normal. Um, I actually did. I started, I start tons of blogs um, just because I have a lot of ideas. So let's go through. I'm going to pretend we're going to go grow big, right? Because we are going to grow big. All right, we'll go through and click on order. So this is a fun part. Let's decide on what your domain name is. And probably through the um, previous modules, you have gone through and you have a domain name that you would want to have for your blog. And this is where we can check it, right? So say for example, you have the domain name of Happy Mom. That's the one we wanna buy. Most likely that's not available because Happy Mom is, um, is uh, pretty popular. Okay, so it says the domain name you chose is not available. Please choose a domain name. Um, please choose something else. All right, so let's think. And this is where I even just got stuck on. So I have to think of a domain name that I can use to actually um, show you guys how to do this. And it took me 15 minutes to decide on just a dummy domain name. So I understand that it's a hard process. My top tip for you with getting your domain name for your, your first blog is choose something generic. Um, choose something that you can mold um, over a couple months into exactly what you want it to be. Don't niche down too much in the beginning unless you really, really know what you want to do. Um, if you're still like, I don't know, I have a lot of passions. I like crafts, I like cooking, I like my kids. Choose something a little bit more generic. So. The generic one that I just chose for this tutorial is a uh, snack, then nap. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. You get a snack and then you take a nap, okay? So snack, then nap. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cute. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. Snack, then nap. And that is... 
available. Yay. All right. So I'm going to create a whole new account here so that SiteGround thinks I'm a new user, but I'm actually not. But so let's do, um, I don't think they have this email with them. We'll choose a, dom um, a password. Uh, we chose to grow big plan because we're going to grow big. It's going to be awesome for 12 months. So you can see it's only $6 a month. I mean, that's, that's almost like one Starbucks. If it's a fancy Starbucks, it's two Starbucks. If it's just regular coffee. Um, so otherwise it's regularly $15 a month. We're getting that domain name for this price. We're getting domain privacy that helps so that your personal information is not publicly available. I would advise you get some domain um, privacy and the site scanner. So it helps that you don't get hacked, right? We want to make sure that we're safe online. So go ahead and click on pay now. I'm so excited for this. Woohoo! All right. So you just created your new hosting account. So it's all successful. Now we're going to go and you're like, okay, great. Now I have hosting. Now where is this blog? Where do I actually create my my content? I have so many ideas. Where can I go and have my blog online? How do I go to snackthennap.com or happymom.com, whatever URL you decided? So let's go ahead and proceed to customer area. And then, ooh, this is nice. Let's start a new website on WordPress because most of the websites online run on WordPress. So you want that admin email. So, ooh, not dot com, at gmail. Username, oh gosh, Susan. It's easier. I'm weak, I'm weak. Let's see if that's okay. Oh, it's too weak. Oh gosh. Let's try my harder password version. Okay, Is that better? Do you like that? Yeah, likes that. Okay. You've requested to install WordPress on your account. Great. Let's go ahead and confirm, complete the setup. So SiteGround hosts all your files. That's your hosting company. WordPress is the platform where you build your blog. All right. And then a theme is kind of like the decorations. How do you make your blog look? All right. So SiteGround is, if you look at it, if you think about it like a, a, a rental company or a landlord situation, SiteGround is your landlord. You're paying them a monthly fee to be able to live in your blog, in your house. And then WordPress is where you actually, the foundation to your house, it's the, the building company that you use, like David Weekly or, um, I don't know, other building companies that you use to build a house. And then the decorations and how you make it look, that's your theme. And we're going to use a free theme in this course to get you ready and build your foundation on of your blog um, just so you get yourself out there. We're not going to invest in a super expensive theme right from the bat because I want you to get confidence in setting up a simple blog with a basic theme. And then later on down the road, you can pay for a more expensive theme. All right. So let's go back. Cool. Your hosting account is ready to use. Let's go ahead and proceed to customer area. All right, so now I believe we can go to your domain. So snackthennap.com slash WP admin. That's how you log into your site. Oh! Oh, cool. Okay, so what you're going to do is go to the domain that you just bought, but you're not going to use Snack Then Nap. You're going to have Happy Mom or Mom Life or whatever domain name you chose. So our username that you just chose and your password, click on Remember Me and go ahead and log in. <gasps> we did it! Yay! I am so proud of you. This is the back end of your blog. This is what it looks like when you're behind the scenes, actually editing things. So we're going to go through this and actually set up your blog so that you can hit publish and have a website online. Because currently, when you go to, this is what you're going to see. So there's nothing on this blog right now, right? It's, it's empty. 
we're going to make this you. We're going to personalize this blog. It's not going to be hard. Just follow my mouse click by click and we're going to do this. All right. Super proud of you. Congrats for signing up for hosting and logging into the back end of your blog.